Hello world, I wanted to put together a tutorial that shows how to use the um, privacy preferences policy control utility to create a profile, a configuration profile that you can upload to your G JSS um, to you know allow apps to run without an admin password on a client device. There's a lot of documentation on this um, new uh, framework that's been released by Apple on the uh, 10.14 uh, Mojave operating system. And for the common man or person or woman, uh, it could be tricky to get through. So my hopes to speed the learning process with some of the folks that are more visual learners uh, by creating this tutorial. Okay, and we're gonna do it for the team uh, viewer application or team viewer QS. So here's Jam's documentation. I'll link this in the video. Here's the uh, software we're using, the Jam PPC utility, um, which I downloaded here and installed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus button, choose my application, which in this case is in my downloads directory because I pulled it from my test client device uh, using AirDrop. Now, in this case, TeamViewer might have a lot of different apps uh, and you need to make one of these for each one. So if your client devices are wanting one version or multiple versions, you'll need to make one of these for each version of the application you're using. So I click on the app, open it up. Um, typically these are all blank by default, so I'm gonna delete them all out to make it show what it'll look like on yours. Uh, again, under accessibility, I want to allow it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a plus, finder, allow, and I'm gonna go through all these and click allow. After that, uh, okay, again, a couple ways to skin this cat. You can upload it directly to your JSS. In this case, we're going to save it. So we got our organization name, payload name. We'll give it a uh, two. And then I am going to sign it with our um, school key here. Go ahead and save it out. And I'm going to save it. Oh, why don't I pop it on the desktop? So now that policy is saved to the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this because we don't need it anymore and go over to my JSS. Here, I'm already logged in, and I can, um, under the Computers Configuration Profiles uh, tab, again, this tutorial assumes you've used Jamf a decent amount. I'm gonna click Upload, choose my file, pull my mobile config, click Open, Upload, And this is a really nice option because you don't have to um, you know it, well for one thing it, inv it doesn't involve any terminal commands so if you're not super comfortable using in terminal it uh, takes that piece away looks like this is being a little slow to upload so perhaps I will pause the video typically it goes faster Oh, here we go. So it pulls in the name. We'll give it a category. It's a Mac app. So under the privacy preferences policy control, uh, I really like how in the JNUC they said, 3POC, 
uh, I think that uh, that's a fun way to remember this name. Thinking of a Star Wars, uh, Star Wars drone. Uh, so here it, uh, it the profile is pulling in, uh, you know, an identifier, a bundle ID, the uh, code requirement. Again, I don't have to pull this stuff with a terminal command, and then the um, app Excel app or service access um, options. So we have an accessibility here, Apple events. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So by creating the uh, payload, I don't have to manually do this. Just a really simple way to um, get it out. After that, I can scope it to a client device, which I've already done. Uh, so for the sake of this test and making a simple video, I'm not gonna show how you would scope this. We'll just go ahead and um, get back to the uh, proof of concept where we remote into this test client. We'll pop open Team Viewer, click Connect. Now, if you don't have the payload, when you're trying to remote into test clients, you can't move the mouse. So we do have the payload. Click Connect. Type our password in. Log in. And now I can get into my test device and I can move the mouse. So um, oddly enough, in the secure, this is the test client, in system preferences, under accessibility, under the privacy tab, it, don't, it doesn't show this box is clicked, but I'm still getting functionality that I didn't have before I scoped this profile to this test client. So this is our, that's our proof of concept. Hope this um, tutorial helps uh, people navigate this new um, management practice. Thanks for watching. Bye.